We're still dealing with two dimensional flows and here we deal with the phase plane. We start our study with phase portraits. So we now begin our study of two dimensional nonlinear systems. The general form of a vector field on the phase plane is x1 dot is equal to f1 x1 x2 and x2 dot is equal to f2 as a function of x1 and x2 where f1 and f2 are given functions so writing in vector notation we have x dot is equal to f of x where x is equal to x1 x2 and f of x is equal to f1 and f2 of x. Here x represents a point in the phase plane and x dot is the velocity vector at that point. Note green represents vectors. So the entire phase plane is usually filled with trajectories as each point can play the role of an initial condition. With nonlinear systems there is no hope of finding the trajectories analytically. So we normally try to determine the qualitative behavior of the solutions. So our objective is to find the system's phase portrait directly from the properties of f of x. We outline some salient features of any phase portrait. These include fixed points, closed orbits, the arrangement of trajectories near the fixed points and closed orbits, and finally the stability or instability of fixed points and closed orbits. Now let's plot an example of a phase portrait. A is a fixed point, B is a fixed point, C is a fixed point, and then we have a closed orbit D. So A, B and C are fixed points. Fixed points satisfy f of x star is equal to zero and our steady states or equilibria of the system. D is a closed orbit. These are periodic solutions i.e. solutions for which x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t for all t for some capital T greater than 0. So now what we do is we start filling out the phase portraits. So you get a rather pretty looking picture. Now observe the trajectories near the fixed points and the closed orbit. The flow pattern 
near A and C is similar, which is different from that near B. We also need to ascertain the stability or instability of the fixed points and the closed orbits. A, B and C are unstable as nearby trajectories tend to move away from them and D which is a closed orbit is stable. So we look at an example. Consider the system x dot is equal to x plus e to the minus y and y dot is equal to minus y. So now we use qualitative arguments to obtain information about the phase portrait. So we first find the fixed points. So we solve x dot and y dot is equal to zero. And the only solution is x star y star is equal to minus one zero. Now we try and determine stability. Note that y sub t tends to zero as t tends to infinity as the solution to y sub t is equal to minus y is y sub t is equal to y naught e to the minus t. Thus e to the minus y is equal to minus 1 and so in the long run the equation for x is simply x dot is equal to x plus 1. Now this equation has solutions that are growing exponentially which tells us that the fixed point is unstable. Let us restrict our attention to initial conditions on the x-axis. Then y naught is equal to 0 and y sub t is equal to 0 for all time. Now the flow on the x-axis is in fact governed by x dot is equal to x plus 1 and thus the fixed point is indeed unstable. Now in order to sketch the phase portrait we plot the null lines. These are defined as curves where either x dot is equal to 0 or y dot is equal to 0. The null lines indicate where the flow is purely horizontal or vertical. For example, the flow is horizontal where y dot is equal to 0 and as y dot is equal to minus y this happens on the line y is equal to 0. Along this line the flow is to the right where x dot is equal to x plus 1 is greater than 0 that is where x is greater than minus 1. In a similar way the flow is vertical where x dot is equal to x plus e to the minus y and on the upper part of the curve where y is greater than 0. The flow is actually downward since y dot is less than 0. Armed with all of this information, let's plot the phase portrait. So that's the familiar y versus x. We highlight the fixed point.
the null lines partition the plane into regions where x dot and y dot have various signs. So the fixed point actually looks like a non-linear version of a saddle point. The topic of discussion in this lecture was face portraits in two-dimensional systems. So we had equations of the form x1 dot is equal to f1 as a function of x1 and x2 and x2 dot is equal to f2, that's another function f2, as a function of x1 and x2. And the objective is to plot x1 versus x2. There are four salient features that you need to keep in mind when plotting the face portrait for two-dimensional systems. Number one, identify all the fixed points. Number two, identify all the closed orbits. Number three, pay close attention to the arrangement of the trajectories close to the fixed points and close to the closed orbits. And number four, highlight the stability and or the instability of the fixed points and the closed orbits. And in this lecture we had one particular example but these are the four salient features that you should look for in any phase portrait of a two-dimensional system.